For several weeks in April 1919, the people of Limerick ran the entire city, printing their own currency and newspapers and organising food supplies in protest against British military rule. It was a watershed in the development of the Labour Party and trade union movement in Ireland. The Forgotten Revolution, published by the O'Brien Press, describes Labour's leading role in the developing struggle for independence in the years after 1916. But for more than 70 years, the full story of Labour's role in the War of Independence has been suppressed, according to the author, Liam Cahill. Obviously, whoever wins, I mean, my view is that Labour lost out in the War of Independence. Their views, their ideology, if you like, didn't become part of the subsequent Free State which was formed. Labour was very, very weak in the Free State and has remained weak uh, in our politics up to this very day. And obviously the educational system that we have, uh, the universities that we have, to a degree reflect the values of the society in which we live. And it is a society in which the kind of values of the Limerick Soviet and the Limerick General Strike are no longer widely held. The book is the first major study of Limerick Labour history. It has also uh, echoes and parallels with your people in Eastern Europe today. It has a universal application. The lessons of the strike uh, are useful ones for people living today in Ireland.